around a decade ago, I was getting ready to complete the discernment process that I'd started to go into ordained ministry. And I was at the point that the diocese I was serving at the time, Alabama, was discerning whether I would go forward in this process. And so I was in this waiting period. And I wanted to make sure that I used this time to do some good in the world. So I looked at various AmeriCorps and community service organizations that I thought would help me do that. And one of these organizations, the one that I ended up serving, was City Year. The City Year puts young people uh, into schools, struggling schools, to be tutors and mentors there. And I was doing this, I, I applied to DC, and so that's where I ended up serving. But the whole time I was uncertain, I was unsure. Education wasn't really something that I was sure I really wanted to, to serve in, that I really wanted to, to do anything in. And then add to that, uh, City Year also had these very intimidating uniforms, uh, very flashy. You, you go out in these red jackets with City Year plastered over your back, we had an AmeriCorps patch on, on one side and the American flag on the other. So you, you stuck out in a crowd. And add even more to that, uh, we had very strict guidelines that we were expected to follow in uniform. These were things like you no know, jaywalking, but also things that you might not expect as much, like no wearing headphones while you're in uniform. And then to add even more to that, one of the things we were expected to do throughout our service was go to various points in the city, in DC, and do physical training exercises out there. And for our schools that allowed it, we were also expected to pep students up as they came in by uh, standing there in a line, clapping our hands and saying, hey, it's you, you're here, that's great. So there was a lot of this that I was uncertain and intimidated about. And so even as I was starting my service, I still was was unsure, I still was uncertain that this is what I wanted to be doing. And then we had our, what we call our jacket ceremony. And it's where, as city year members, we officially put on our uniforms. It's when we're officially inducted into the city year core. And it comes even a little after we've been serving in the schools. And so all of a sudden, this uniform becomes ours. We start to embody that uniform. And there's something that changed in that moment. I really did start to feel a part of a larger whole, a larger group going out and doing this work in the world. And I have to say, from that moment on, I was really proud of the service that I was doing. And I take pride in that work now. <clears throat> because it worked to make me a better person. And it also gave me the skills to be a better minister. Now, the Ephesian Christians would have gone through something similar in their own induction into our faith. This was a new and alien thing for them. They were 
joining a completely new group. And for many of them, they may have been a little frightened and scared and unsure about joining this group. But they knew that in doing so, that they would finally be able to experience that peace of God. They'd finally get that wholeness. Their lives would be changed by this experience. And the Ephesian Christians in joining this group would have something that they never had before. That closeness, that relationship to God. I want you to take a moment to just think about your own initiation into the church. Whether you remember your baptism, or if you don't, if you remember that moment that you affirmed those baptismal vows for yourself through a public affirmation like confirmation. Just think about that for a moment. What do you remember feeling? Do you remember being worried? Do you remember being intimidated at all by joining the church? Do you remember feeling that closeness to God? Did you feel some change in your lives at that moment? Do you still feel that change today? That's very much my hope for all of you as you think back to that moment of joining the body of Christ. That you felt that closeness to God. That you felt that peace and wholeness that comes only from our Lord Jesus Christ. That there was something beyond words that you experienced. And that that change of heart is something that remains with you even to this day. As we get ready in our next service to celebrate a baptism, it's important for us to think back on that moment. It's important to remember the change that occurred and to continue to grow in that closeness that we feel with God in our lives. Because as we see with the Ephesians, they were once aliens. They were once removed from God. But thanks to their baptism, they were able to be brought closer. And my hope is that something that you experienced and that you experience still, that being brought closer to God. And my hope, too, is that you will go out from here, serving God and serving God alone. Because as we also hear this morning, we are Jesus' sheep, and he is our great shepherd guiding us through this life. So I hope you will continue to let God guide you and to live your lives for God and God alone.